Hey, welcome back to Star Technology, where in the last video, we made this clean room here and the advanced circuit assembler so that we could get, I don't have it on me, an EV circuit, meaning that we are properly in EV power now. So that opens up uh, quite a lot of stuff here. And I've been looking through a lot of this stuff and it seems like in general, I'm gonna need to upgrade a lot of what I have to be able to continue all of this. Like, I need nitro ingots so I can upgrade the blast furnace, or I need a vacuum freezer instead of a chemical bath. I think to get nitro as well, and also titanium, which is, I guess, the main metal for EV. And I've just kind of glossed over a lot of the liquids here because they, they scare me, to be quite frankly honest. But I think... Working my way up to EV power seems like a pretty good goal for this video. So I'm going to need presumably uh, titanium so that I can get the energy converter. I'm going to need nichrome coils to get endurium so I can get the wires. I'm going to need a vacuum freezer. I'm going to need a couple things. Also at some point I'm going to have to experiment with the multi-block upgrade kit. Oh, they can't be overclocked, but... I think you could still switch out the energy hatch to effectively upgrade them. I don't know, I'll fiddle with this later, I don't think I've got time for that in this video. There's a few other small things that I'd like to do. I want to get um, automated EV circuits, and to do that I was convinced I was going to need a wireless ME system to be able to somehow get cables in here. But no, that's what the HV machine hull is for. I'm guessing it does the same thing as this diode, except it allows ME cables to go through. So I can probably set that up now. This feels like it's probably wrong, but it might not be. It does connect. Yeah, it just seems to connect through. I can put all the chips back in. I guess to test I'll make one of them. I'm guessing the fact that it registered the recipe at all. Oh, yep. That just about confirms it. So there we go, that's that connected. And I've already done pretty much all of the other processing to this. Yeah, everything except the RAM chip. Just gotta make sure that's the right amount. And yeah, I should just have automatic EV circuits now. Almost. For some reason I need salt. I'll just make a recipe for that. Yeah, I can craft EV circuits here now. So then with that, I could get a distillation tower so that I can make this a bit more efficient. Although currently it's not working. Okay, for some reason it's not visible in the system, but now it is. All I did was change the quantity? Oh, it can't be extracted from the network. I'll just go back to an import bus. I know that one worked. Okay, now the system's back online. I guess it just didn't have enough. Storage buses are a little weird. I'm still unsure on how to use them. Thankfully I've had this backup power then. Anyway, brief detour aside. I need to get onto EV power. And I think the first thing I'm gonna need is a vacuum freezer. What does this take? It's a multi-block and the controller is reasonably simple. I'll just craft as much as I can. And I'm gonna need a bunch of these frost-proof aluminium machine casings. It's just aluminium machine casings, I guess. How many am I gonna need in total? 19, so 60 plates and 10 frames. Okay, that should be all of the machine casings I need. So I think I'm still making, am I still making a circuit? I don't think I am. I'll just make another one then. Ah, oh, I've run out of RAM chips. Oh, I've run out of wafers. I'll get onto that later. I've just got to do the rest of the vacuum freezer before I get too distracted. Okay, well I've made most of the things now that I need for the vacuum freezer. I think it's about time that I finally automated these wafers because you guys have told me about this thing, an ingredient buffer. It literally just holds the ingredients to be extracted. It's exactly what I was looking for to make this this whole time. Because with that, I can store items and fluids to then separate into the blast furnaces, which was the only step of the wafer recipe that I didn't know how to automate yet. And it'll also help me upgrade some of the other blast furnace recipes too. So I'm just gonna have to do a small modification here I don't want any of these recipes falling off the edge. I'm gonna have the ingredient buffer there with the pattern provider there, put the recipes back in. And then I just need to extract from the fluid pipe and the item pipe, and that should just work. 
Wait a minute, this doesn't actually take a liquid. Well, there's plenty of other things that do, so it's still a helpful thing to have that. I might just have to make multiple of these so that I can have a blast furnace for each program circuit because I still don't know any way to get around that. And I may as well make the RAM wafers because that's what I'm missing after all. And put them in the cutter. Just gonna need to slap a pattern provider on there and top out the lens. And then that should work. It's gonna take a long time though. And yes, the ingredient buffer does put things in here. Ah shit, a little slowly and it got the silicon going. Oh, because it's not on the right configuration. That's why. I'll just manually put some extra in there. There we go. I'm gonna have to start splitting these up in future. But that should slowly work towards the last of the EV circuits. There's still plenty of other things that I need here. It looks like it's only got one energy hatch. Does that mean it can't be overclocked? I can try two, because I have spare. What power level do I need for most of this? It's looking like everything except liquids is MV. Yeah, titanium's MV. Yeah, pretty much every ingot is MV. So we'll hook it up to MV power. Then I'm gonna need an input hatch. It says it needs an output hatch. Oh yeah, I guess it outputs. Yeah, it needs both items and fluid. So input and output bus as well as the hatches. Then muffler hatch, maintenance hatch. I don't think I need a specific muffler hatch. What's the easiest one? Probably LV. There we go, muffler hatch. And then, hmm, it's specified configurable maintenance hatch. Oh no, it allows the regular maintenance hatch. So I'll just quickly throw that together too. And I think that's everything. It's still making the circuit though. Oh, but it's not far off. I hadn't set up the laser engraver properly. There we go, there's that last chip. So there's the vacuum freezer. Right. And if I'm connecting to MV power, I may as well put it over here. Although, hmm, I want to keep that area for the smaller machines. And I guess I've got room around here. And I've already got a bit of energy here. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about putting four times energy through. I'll just make another energy converter. So I'd rather not take up any future room for the clean room, because I'm likely just going to expand that out sideways. So then why not start putting machines on this platform? <laughs> this is where the original MV machines were. So I think I'll put inputs on the bottom, outputs just above that, controller in the middle, maintenance on the top, I guess muffler can go there as well, and then energy around the back. Then I'll just set up power, and that should be working now. Oh, well I need to fix the maintenance stuff. That should do it, and I should be fine. So, now I can try and make that nichrome, and I think I'm gonna need a lot of this. It's gonna take a long time in the vacuum freezer as well. I'm probably gonna make it using nitrogen, because I have that fixed now. And it's just nickel and chromium? I can do that. I have two mixes connected to the system, right? Yes. This one's on two, so yeah, I can do that. So I'll just make the recipe for nichrome dust, with the right amounts, of course. And then, is it one bucket of nitrogen gas? It is. And finally, the test of the vacuum cleaner, the vacuum freezer. And if it's gonna take that long, I think I might actually just upgrade to HV power. <laughs> so I'll just try and connect the vacuum freezer in. It's gonna be a bit weird, but it should work. Okay, that should be this all connected. So let's see, can I order up, let's say, 10 ingots? I've set the blast furnace to two, so if it gets the dust, it should put it through the furnace. Looks like it is making the dust. It's very slow though. Yeah, 25 seconds on MV power. I might want to upgrade that. And then, oh, this is full of oxygen. I've got residuals from making the, the steel earlier. There we go. That seems to be working. It is gonna take a while though. It's 22 seconds per ringgit. I'm not sure how easily I can split that up. I might just have to deal with it being <laughs> that slow. But yeah, it's making the ingot. So then, what do I need for the, co the coil blocks? I need nichrome wire, liquid aluminium stainless steel foil. That seems easy. I'll just make all of these recipes. So I'll just make one furnace's worth for now. That would be 16. And that's probably going to take a very long time to go through. <laughs> so I may as well get it started now. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. 
I'm going to have to fix the blast furnaces before I do that. Cancel. I'm going to have to, oh, I'm going to have to set up a second blast furnace here. And then if this one is configured, actually, I'll leave this one configured to one. And then any recipe that takes two will go in here. And while I'm at it, how many of these would be quicker with a gas as well? Aluminium is quicker with nitrogen. Stainless steel is also quicker with nitrogen. I think most of these are going to be quicker with nitrogen. Yeah. And nickel zinc ferrite requires oxygen. Uh, that can go in any of these then. But the silicon and the canthol. Silicon doesn't care. Canthol's quicker with nitrogen. Okay. So I'm going to want to replace basically all of these recipes. So then I can put the nickel zinc ferrite back in there because that doesn't care. And the rest of these that need two can go in here. Okay, let's try this again. 16 nichrome. I need a lot of nitrogen. Good thing I've been preparing that. Should be fine. I'll babysit it for a little bit, but I'll see how it goes. And then I might just switch to doing other things while I wait. Right now it's a bit busy using these smaller machines, but it should now just be working away at all of these ingots. Yeah, it's putting a lot of nitrogen in. And because I'm doing this with the nitrogen method, I can't split this between different blast furnaces. So I just kind of have to live with it being a bit slower. Oh, it's already made one coil block. Cool. Maybe this won't take as long as I thought it would. But either way, it's still going to take a little bit. So let's work on the other thing that I'll need. I need titanium. So how do I get titanium? I need rutile dust and then titanium tetrachloride. Okay. So how do I get rutile dust? Seems like a byproduct from ilmenite and from bauxite with the right method. So if I process a bunch of purified bauxite and purified ilmenite, I'll get out a bunch of rutile. Yeah, and then electrolyzing bauxite as well. Or I can get some with ilmenite in the blast furnace. I don't know how good that method would be. I can go back to all processing. I'm gonna need a bunch of sodium persulfate for that. But that's still just chance. So I think my best method is processing ilmenite and bauxite. I have a bunch of each. I think I'll do three stacks of each. So is the macerator in use right now? No. How quickly does this process? Uh, not very quickly at all. It's five seconds each. That's slow. So I'm just gonna jerry-rig a passive method so I can leave that for a little bit. But I'm gonna need more beyond the rutile dust. So I need titanium tetrachloride. How do I get that? Chemical reactor? Carbon, chlorine, and rutile dust. And that's also gonna take a while. Do I have a means of getting chlorine? Iron 3 chloride? Salt? Raw platinum powder? Yeah, there's plenty of easy ways for me to get chlorine. I think I'll go with salt then, because that's probably the quickest and cheapest. I already have a bunch of chlorine gas too, just from random byproduct when I mess up a, a recipe but I can't hurt to make a recipe for it anyway. And it was in the electrolyzer, right? Yes. So I may as well make a recipe for titanium tetrachloride too. I think I need one bucket of chlorine gas? Nope, four buckets. Okay, that goes in the chemical reactor. Does it need a certain, no, it doesn't need a circuit. Okay, and then this goes in the blast furnace with magnesium to make hot titanium ingots. That can go in with silicon because it doesn't need a specific card. And then if I've already got hot titanium, I may as well make the vacuum freezer recipe. So I should, yeah, I have a bit of rutile already, so I can complete the quest. And then can I make just one for now? I need a way to get magnesium. I don't have an ore for that. Hmm, I could make it out of asbestos. I don't think I want to touch asbestos. Chromite? can make magnesium. I think chromite's my best bet then. Although, chromite doesn't make it in the, in the electrolyzer, so it's still just chance. So I have to do it through chromite processing. Okay, so purified chromite goes through the macerator and then the centrifuge. And that's the best I can do. Well, I'm still running through all of these ores. I'll finish going through the ilmenite and then I'll go through the chromite too. Hang on a minute. Red garnet can give me pyrope, and pyrope can electrolyze into magnesium. Maybe I don't have to do it the chromite method. Just want to make sure I'm not 
overlooking a better ore. Garnet Sand effectively does the same thing by just giving me Garnet Dust. And everything else on the list isn't attainable. At least not easily. <laughs> the others are sifable. So I just need to get to the Red Garnet Dust. So I can do this manually. And it's probably going to take a while in the centrifuge. But it's quicker than the macerator is. And then all of this Red Garnet Dust that I'm getting, that just goes back into the centrifuge. So I'll just centrifuge a stack of it so I can get a bit of magnesium out the gate. Because that gives me some pie rope. Ah, I still need a little bit more before I can electrolyze it. Now I can electrolyze that to get a little bit of magnesium just so I can make that first titanium ingot and make sure that this works. So, oh, I need to change the recipe over. So just give me the hot titanium so I can trigger the quest. And it shouldn't be going in the blast furnace that's full of all the other stuff. Yep, second one's running. There we go. Hot titanium. There we go, it triggered the quest. So now I'll just stick it in the vacuum freezer. And there we go, titanium ingot. So once I can get a bit more magnesium, I can build a backlog of that and get the EV machine hull. Now one thing that I am a bit curious of is making the titanium gave me this magnesium chloride. And I can just turn this back into an equal amount of magnesium and maybe even an equal amount of chlorine? Huh. I'll keep making excess magnesium anyway, but good to know that there's a, a method of converting it back. That'll mean I don't need to make so much chlorine, but salt is really cheap, so I don't really care. So in that time, I've done just shy of half the nichrome coils. It says it'll be done in 13 seconds. I think it's closer to being about an hour, and I've got time for that. I might be able to split the nichrome between a few blast furnaces because that is my biggest bottleneck right now, is that it's just the one blast furnace going really slow. So I'm just going to transfer some of this nitrogen across just to speed this up a bit more. Right, I don't know if I can support having three blast furnaces running right now, but it should speed this along. Ooh, my power is draining. But it's draining slower than I would have thought. I might be fine. I'm really gonna want that distillation tower soon so I can get some fuel quicker. While I wait, I guess I'll just keep making some more titanium. Although I really didn't get much pie rope, so I'm not gonna have all that much magnesium. The mass rate is almost free again, so I can start getting the chromite going. And that should get me a lot more magnesium. Okay, all the rutile's gone through now. So I have enough to make 140 ingots of titanium. That'll probably do me for a while. I don't know, I might still need more. I need a lot of aluminium and stainless steel. We'll see. I almost have all the nichrome coil blocks too. I guess splitting it up really did help. Okay, I should be done in like a minute, maybe? Because I'm on the last few ingots. How's the vacuum freezer faring? It's keeping up. I don't know if I do need to upgrade it to HV. Because the blast furnaces really are the bottleneck here. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the, the vacuum freezer to do the last couple ingots, and I'm done. So, I need to start looking at Enderium then. How do I get that? Also, yeah, it's still MV in the vacuum freezer. It's gonna take 50 seconds per ingot, even with nitrogen and EV power. So how do I get the dust? Ender pearl dust, diamond dust, and lead dust. That's easy. I don't have a recipe for any of these. Oh, I'm out of patterns. Alright, I've got the nitrome. Which one do I upgrade to? So that's this one. I've had canthal for so long, it's gonna feel weird seeing a different colored coil. Ooh, it's a nice purple though. So there we go. EV furnace with nitrome coils. Alright, I'm getting some patterns through now. So I need to make the enderium dust. I'm also gonna need lead dust. Although I should have a lot of that from silver. Yeah, that's plenty. I'm gonna need diamond dust. That one's just diamond and a macerator. And then I need ender pearl dust. So for that I need to macerate a block of ender pearl. A block of ender pearl is super easy. Right, and then put the dust in the blast furnace and then into the vacuum freezer and I've got it. So then in theory, I can just queue up an enderium ingot. It's gonna take a while because I think the macerator is busy. So I'll just quickly do that one myself. All right, so now I can just queue it up. So it's got to craft the dust in the mixer. That takes 30 seconds each. 
Well, I guess I get four at a time. This won't be the bottleneck though, because it then needs to go through here. And that takes 50 seconds. And then the 17 seconds in the vacuum freezer seems like nothing. Anyway, I'll set the, the rest of it going. Oh, actually, I don't need it crafting anymore. How much spare endearium do I have? I don't know, it should have stuck everything I needed in there anyway. Or not. It's making some more anyway. Okay. Alright, I've got seven spare. It just didn't show it yet. Eight endearing ingots should be enough for me to go off of for now. Because I just need to make this. The 4A energy converter. So I need 16 wires. And I get two at a time. So that's going to take a long time to go through. So I'm going to work on the titanium I need. Because so I'm going to need an EV machine hull. I may as well make it in the assembler. So then I need eight titanium plates. And I have all the magnesium I need, so I'll just order that up, and hopefully it just works. It's going in the other blast furnace, so it should be fine. Okay, I have all the titanium now. I'm just gonna bend it. And then if I make that machine casing... Oh, I need aluminium cables. Ooh, these might be more complicated than I thought. I can make the recipe for the cable. How do I get thin polyvinyl chloride? I'd want to get the sheets so that I can make this in the bender. So that's either on the extruder or on the cutter. I'll just humor the cutter and see. No, I'll just make it out of the, the ingots. How do I get the ingots then? The extruder? It just comes back to the pulp. Although something tells me I might be barking up the wrong tree. Ah, liquid polyvinyl chloride. I need oxygen and vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride is... Chlorine and ethylene, and it makes hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. I can do with some extra. So I'll just make the recipe for vinyl chloride, then for liquid polyvinyl chloride, and then I may as well solidify it straight into the sheets and then bend that. I think the advanced reactor is the one on one. Yes. So this should hopefully work if I got the values correct. I just want to make sure fluid solidifies on plate. That's what I want. Hmm, what's wrong? It's not making the vinyl chloride. Does it need salt? I need to free up the macerator again. Okay, now it's doing it. There we go, EV machine hull. And I have all the endirium now too. So I'll stick that through the wire mill. I think I need to pick that up for the quest. But I need to turn it into four times and then combine with another circuit. There we go. EV energy converter. <laughs> okay, I think quest-wise, that was the most progress I've done in one video in a while. Yeah, but now I've unlocked EV power, so if I work my way down to the energy hatch, I can overclock everything again, which I'm kind of tempted to do. I'm gonna need the assembler three, and that'll let me get an emerald mesh two, and that'll finish off the sieving materials. But I think before I get the energy hatch, I'm going to need that distillation tower so I can actually support that much power. Because I'm going to need four times as much power as I'm already... As I already need. And I can't keep up with what I already need. The EV upgrade kit should also help with that. This doesn't seem so bad. Actually, it depends how bad Resonant Ender is. Oh, super easy. So when I upgrade all of the power stuff over here, I'm going to get that EV upgrade kit too. Maybe even upgrade some of these to the Endirium tier? Because the Endirium tier says HV, but I need EV to be able to get them. And the EV tier takes Shellite, which takes IV. So it's just kind of wrong. But I guess it's the same color as the upgrade kit, and that's the correct one. I don't know. There's definitely a lot more that I can do now that I've got EV power. But it is not stuff for this video. So, I think I'm just going to end this here. I'm very happy with that progress. Ooh, maybe I, maybe I could get the nuclear reactor. Oh, it's huge. And it's complicated. Oh, the turbine's also weird. But not as complicated. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine with the distillation tower for power, thank you. A nuclear reactor would be like a multiple video project much later down the line. Anyway, I, I think I just need to finish this video now. So, yeah, I guess that's it from me. Bye.